Hi friends, welcome back to Drink Vocal. It's good to have you, and it's good to have Laura. She is a new guest, and new as in like... Brand we're, new. We're, I'm just meeting you today. Today, yeah, for the first time. So I saw that you did the video with my friend Nick for Creep, and Nick and I used to be neighbors, and we used to karaoke together, so I reached out and said... This looks like something fun. And I'm so glad you did because that's exactly what I'm trying to do here mm -hmm. is just meet new people, collaborate on different songs. Yeah. And so, yeah. yeah. And so he asked like, what do I sing? And I'm big into the Baltimore karaoke scene. And I sent a list that's kind of all over the place. <laughs> I was like, which one do I pick out of all these? The, I think we, we, we landed on a pretty good one. So. Yeah, I think so. And like I said, I think it, fits the the tone of your show and what you've been doing lately and i think it works well for me it's one of the technically hardest songs that i can do because it's so low for me so if i'm clutching my chest it's not anything hurts i'm trying to sing lower <laughs> well it's actually technically hard for me too so because it's basically like a whole solo the whole time so That's i'm gonna be leaning on you so make sure if you lean on me we'll crumble <laughs> All right, all right, fair enough. We'll lean on each other, right? Yes, we got this. We, we got a nice lean to going on. Nice. Uh, yeah, we got beer. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We were a little impatient. Already cracked it. We did crack it already. We've been we've been having a little time yeah. drinking, drinking a little bit. Especially, having... it's the first day that we met each other, so trying to loosen up, get to know each other. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. And uh, the beer, which you pretty much chose this. Yeah. And, at this time yeah the monument 51 rise like my go-to if it's on tap anywhere so oh, that's usually yeah. the first thing i'll pick it's one of my go-to's as well mm -hmm. so i'm glad that you picked it well cheers cheers yeah new friends and good music exactly good times mm -hmm. so your karaoke that seems to be a big uh big thing with your your whole music yeah so I got into music young with my dad, who's mm -hmm. a very good player and taught me a lot of folk songs, and I was just always singing growing up. And then karaoke, like I'm not trying to be like karaoke's life, it's not like the like the movie duets or anything, but uh, it's something I've done regularly since I was like 19 years old or so. Um, and actually, I started How I Met Nick as I was living next to a place that did regular karaoke, and I went every single Saturday for a few years and we had a group of like five or six people that it was just us every single weekend. And if nobody else was there, it was just the few of us fielding songs with each other and getting to sing different things. And it's just fun for me. It's a cathartic thing. Yeah. I really enjoy watching other people get into it. I really enjoy getting other people into it um, and singing along with them. And it's also actually how I met my boyfriend. That's awesome. Yeah. It's kind of a sweet story. Yeah. Met through karaoke, mm -hmm. met through the, beautifulness of song right and like i said i'm into karaoke i usually i start with a song that i think everybody knows like run around sue mm -hmm. start with that or dancing in the moonlight pepper them up a little bit yeah pepper them up and then i hit them with another song that's really sweet usually like a 50s to 60s song so like yeah the drifters um sam cook and then usually my third song is closer by nine inch nails <laughs> that that gets me because that's like and it's, it's so much fun just to watch everyone's song. reaction. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, the lyrics of that song are just, like, uh, in your face. They're a little much. <laughs> yeah. And I love it. Um, I would like to, to witness that. To witness it. Yeah, we'll bring Nick. And we'll have we'll a creep off. Nick. Creep off. Nick did creep. He was really good, by the way. Mm -hmm. Watch that Watch that episode, because he did a great job. He did. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll come to Carrie. Maybe, maybe we can sing... Uh, the Wallflowers, which we're doing today. We should. <laughs> yeah. And Jacob Dylan, his father, is from my home state of Minnesota. Yeah, he told me that. That's crazy. <laughs> I, didn't, I can't believe he didn't know that. I, I didn't know where, Jake, where Bob Dylan was from. I mm -hmm. I just knew he was Bob Dylan. And I knew that Jacob Dylan is in the, is the lead man of Wallflowers. And I'm sure this was on, like, Now 5 or something. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> what, what Now are we on, by the way? Are they still doing Now? Are they? I don't know. We're not even now anymore. It's like after. It's then. <laughs> it's, now. it's then. Oh, ouch. Okay, we should just. <laughs> but 
This is a 90s staple. You've all heard it. I mean, mm -hmm. it's it's a great song. The chorus just brings everyone in. I think so. Everyone gets it. Everybody knows this part of the song when they go, hey. Mm -hmm. During the first two verses, they all think it's the three in a row, and it's not. <laughs> and so you're going to watch me counting, because I still think that sometimes. Okay. You do your thing. Yeah, I you mean, do your thing. I'm going to be like messing up on the guitar. so It's okay. I'll try not to hit you. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I guess we can play the song. Let's do it.
Hell yeah. yeah. I mean, thanks for coming. You get, This could be you, guys. I mean, you could have one of your own. But no, I think you're going to meet a lot of really cool people doing this. Oh, yeah. I hope so. Maybe Dave Roll will reach out. I don't know. <laughs> Call yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> let, let me know. Whenever you want to do it, Dave, let, just let me know. I'm available. So. So many people do this song. Like, it's hard to go a night without hearing it. Really? Yeah. Trust me. Okay, Google. Stop.